Imagine if you could weave together the world's most cutting-edge medical technologies and research to fight diseases like cancer. That's exactly what molecular profiling is all about. To better understand it, it might help if you think of your body as a very intricate fabric. Now some of the threads of this fabric come from your mother's side of the family, some come from your father's. Inside that thread, inside each of your cells, are genes, which are kind of like a set of instructions for your cells. When your cells reproduce normally, the fabric of your body stays healthy. But sometimes your genes mutate and produce errors. Sometimes they make these mistakes on their own. Other times these errors can be caused by environmental factors, like being exposed to radiation or certain chemicals. And if certain genes mutate and reproduce without control, well, that's how cancer can develop. The good news is that there are signs that these mutations have happened. These signs are called biomarkers. Sometimes the biomarkers are produced by the tumors themselves. And sometimes the biomarkers are produced by the body's own response to the cancer. Either way, that's where molecular profiling comes in. Molecular profiling uses various technologies to identify cancer biomarkers. Some common molecular profiling tests include immunohistochemistry, or IHC, fluorescence in situ hybridization, though it's more commonly called the FISH test, next generation sequencing, or NGS, and quantitative polymerase chain reaction, or qPCR. Now, once you get past the really long names, the testing itself is pretty straightforward. Most tests will require either a lymph node, bone marrow, or tumor cell biopsy, though some tests might only demand a simple blood draw. Once these tests are complete, doctors can get a good look at your biomarkers and your one-of-a-kind genetic fabric. Sometimes the tests can help your doctors diagnose the specific kind of blood cancer you have. Sometimes they can tell you almost exactly how many cancer cells are left in your body. Other biomarkers can help doctors predict your overall survival rate. And some biomarkers can even help your doctors determine which specific therapies might work best for you. Yes, the ability to personalize care for your own unique genetics is what makes the promise of molecular profiling so amazing. And that's why doctors and researchers keep doing all this great work. Because while we all may be made of different genetic fabrics, we all share that same thread of hope that we can beat blood cancer once and for all.